As women, we bring a very unique perspective uh, to research and to science, uh, in particular, in what questions we have about problems and how to approach problems. You know, research is all about discovery, and I think women bring that lens, a unique lens uh, that's informed by our experiences, you know, holistically as a uh, daughters, as mothers, as, uh, you know, women. And so I, the perspective that we bring is very important to discovery and to science and as a result to educating the next generation of scientists, uh, not only in the country, but in the world. As a young nurse early in my career, uh, I saw that the health problems uh, that uh, patients were experiencing were very different when it came to older Hispanics, older Latinos working in a hospital setting, working with patients that suffered from cardiovascular disease. It didn't take long to figure out that we needed to learn more about the experiences of women uh, and their heart health. And again, in particular, Latina women. So. I began to look as you know nurses do, trying to figure out the answers and I found out that we didn't have answers. We didn't have an approach to um, treating and to understanding the experiences of Latina women in particular when it came to heart health. So that sparked an interest in, uh, in me to ask questions, you know, to um, try to come up with a approach that considered unique experiences of Latinos, of Latinas, and that led me to research. You know, I noticed that there were not a lot of Latina researchers either, and so I wanted to contribute to this body of knowledge, you know, this uh, way in which we count on research to do our work in nursing. So I wanted to be part of that contribution. Uh, no, there isn't, you know, and I, and I say that it's pretty, you know, it's pretty factual when you look at the numbers of researchers in academia, the majority are men, so we need more women. We need a good representation of women again because we approach problems and scientific questions differently. So you could see that in the numbers. And unfortunately, you can also see that in the number uh, of funded researchers through the National Institutes of Health, through other you know funding agencies, whether it's private or public funding, not a lot of not as many women as men are funded and are conducting their own research um, and have their are leading a research team. So we do need more of that. We do need more of that representation. I'm very excited to be, you know, a, a researcher. I want to bring along more women and more Latinas uh, into this the research space. Um, the challenges I've dealt with, you know, we do have to a lot to do with being a woman, being a Latina, being underrepresented or historically marginalized that there are not a, a whole lot of other women that I can look to and say, this is how they did it. There's a, there are things that I think we can do to get through these challenges. And so what I've done is number one, look to mentors. I've been very lucky to have mentors that value what I contribute, um, what I bring to the table. Number two is the, that the research that you do has to be research that uh, you want to do, that you're interested in, that it, gets your fire going. I look to the community as a strength and the research that I do, I believe in. And the older Latinos, older Hispanics themselves, you know, they uh, are always reminding me of why I chose to do this work and this research. 
Uh, they remind me all the time that it's important work and that they count on that work too. Uh, I always think about the Latino values that are written about and uh, for decades are supported by the research, by literature that says, you know, things like respeto, familismo, um, personalismo, you know, confianza. Uh, that's what I, you know, sort of go back to and remember uh, to stick to those values and to treat everyone like that. Over the last couple of years, there, there has been an increased awareness, a heightened awareness of the challenges that women face, not just in research, but in leadership positions in corporate America, in, uh, you know, in the C-suite, as they say, uh, but also in academia. I think over the last year in academia, there is heightened awareness of the needs for women uh, uh, researchers and some of it is about building a culture where women feel um, valued, they feel heard, they feel respected, and they're not experiencing any kind of ism, right? Whether it's sexism, uh, racism, um, those are very important um, challenges to experience as a person just trying to get through uh, their goal, uh, their career goal, their um, job and research. So. We need to continue to build environments where women can thrive. We need to continue to develop a culture that no matter who you are, whether you're a man or a woman, uh, you feel empowered to do your work. Mis consejos uh, to colleagues, uh, to other Latinas and researchers looking to do research is that it is an exciting, exciting field. Um, it's a field that, yes, there will be, there are challenges like anything I think in life that is very worth, you know, uh, achieving. This is a career that is very fulfilling, that you're always learning, constantly learning, and, you know, being comfortable with growing and learning all the time uh, is very, could be very rewarding. Um, and to look to others to, uh, to go with you in this trajectory and uh, be there for one another and to show that uh, Latinas and Latina researchers have a lot, a lot to contribute to this country and to science and to the discovery of new knowledge. I thank you to NACOA for being that long-standing partner in this uh, in this field and partnering with researchers and partnering with practitioners and public health to achieve its very bold vision. So thank you, thank you for that.